Welcome back everyone to another video. I hope you enjoy just spending the day with us. We are going to be doing some corn for the freezer. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. Me and Chloe decided to head out to the shop this morning and kind of check in on the guys out here, see what they were doing um, before we go get our corn and get started with that. It was a beautiful morning, nice and sunny and warm, um, perfect for just a day at home and getting some things done. Lamar was working out here on some things in the shop. And so we headed off to get our corn. I got other some other vegetables and things as well. Um, so we're gonna bring everything in the house and then we'll get started with husking our corn. We are just going to head out under a shade tree to do our husking um, and we put all our corn in the wheelbarrow. I really didn't get that much um, today, just a little bit and I thought this would be a nice project to get the, the kids involved and get them to help us and it wouldn't take us that long to get it done. So the first step, of course, is just husking all the corn, getting all the bad spots cut out, um, like the worms and just making sure it's nice and clean. And this is a part where the little ones can really help with um, this part of the husking and it's always something that they can, they can do really well at. Now there is all different kinds of sweet corn out there that you can um, you know, put away in the freezer. This particular kind is peaches and cream, um, but there's definitely other kinds that you can work with that would work um, to put in the freezer for later. And I thought these ears were nice and full and they were really nice ears. Uh, we did find you know, quite a bit of worms on just you know, the end of the cob but it wasn't too bad. Um, the rest of the ear was really nice. And once we are done with all the husking, we're gonna take our corn inside and I'm gonna start by just cleaning out these sinks, getting them ready you know, for our clean corn to get put in. Um, I just wanted to clean these really quick and we're going to be doing all of our corn, um, you know, preparing our corn and things inside. Normally I would do this outside, but I don't really have the equipment to do it um, outside, like an outdoor burner and things like that. So we'll just do it inside and just kind of clean up as we go. That way the mess doesn't get out of hand. The next step is, of course, cleaning our corn, getting all the silk off as clean as we can. Now there's a couple different ways that you could do this. Um, and one is just like doing it with a dry cloth. Now if your corn is not bruised at all, and it's not sticky whatsoever, this actually works really good. Just your corn is dry and your cloth is dry. And just rubbing the cloth um, against the corn does really help to get the hair out. Um, but when you have little ones helping, they, the corn tends to get a little bruised here and there. So therefore you have some sticky spots and this almost makes it impossible to get all the silk off this way. Um, so normally the way that I do it is with water and that is just running water over the cobs, um, just running your hand across the cobs um, over all the kernels and this helps to get all that silk out of the little crevices and then you can get it cleaned this way as well. But honestly, whatever works um, better for you, um, go for it. And then again, if we missed any spots, any bad spots, or um, if one of the kids missed a spot, I will just cut that out, just getting the clean, uh, getting the corn cleaned up and ready to um, 
blanch or we're going to put it in some boiling water um, a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and fill my um, stock pot up with water, um, about half to three quarters full, and then we're going to get that on the burner. This is going to take a while to get to boiling, so I'm going to get this started right away. While I'm still cleaning the corn, um, then we won't be waiting so long on the water. Alright, and then once we are done with the cleaning, we can go ahead and um, get to cooking our corn. Now once your water has reached a boiling temperature, you can go ahead and put some corn in the water. And you just want to make sure that the, all the corn um, will be underwater, so don't fill it too full. Um, just make it nice and filled so that your corn um, can cook. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on the pot so that it comes to a boiling a little bit quicker. And then once that is to a good rolling boil, you want to set the timer for three minutes, um, three to five minutes. Once the timer goes off, you can remove your corn and then you want to put it in some nice cold water um, immediately. Get that cooled off as quickly as you can and I usually try to have plenty of ice around that way I can put ice in my water um, to get it cooled off really quick. So we're going to go ahead and just dump our corn in the sink here in the water and then I'm going to go ahead and just add some ice. Um, yeah, you want the corn cooled all the way down to the cob, uh, really cold. And then in the second sink here is colder water. And then we're going to again put corn in our water, get that back to a boiling temperature. And then for lunch, we quickly grab some pizza, and then we're also having corn on the cob for whoever wants some, um, so that we can just kind of keep moving with our corn um, and then eat as we can. And here I'm getting the really cold corn um, out, and then this will be ready to cut off. And then the corn that's in the first sink, that's not quite cold, um, we'll put that in the second sink where the water is colder. And then just continue to keep ice on it to keep it nice and cold. Now we're going to start cutting off our corn and I always just use a knife. You can use like the corn creamer if you prefer that. Um, I always just prefer the knife. It's just how I learned to cut corn and how I prefer, prefer my corn um, you know, in the freezer as well. So this is always the part that I enjoy. Um, cutting corn, it is a sticky mess <laughs> once you get done, but it's always just the part that I enjoyed the most. And as you can see, the children were very interested. Um, Jameson was watching me for quite a while, just watching and observing. And it reminded me of when I was a little girl standing over my mom's shoulder, watching her cut corn and just 
not being able to wait until the day that I could cut corn myself. So the best way to cut corn um, that it, it works the best that I have found, first of all, you want a really sharp knife, um, something that cuts all the way from one end of the cob all the way down to the bottom in one clean swipe. So you want your knife really sharp uh, to start off with. And then once you have it cut in little strips all the way around the cob, then you will take the back of your knife and then just scrape the rest of those juices out and this will give it a nice creamy texture. And to give your corn a really good flavor, um, you only want to cut just the ends of the kernels off. Um, you don't want to cut too deep. This will give it a different flavor, a different texture, and I just prefer to cut basically just the ends of the kernels off and then once you go over it with the back of your knife scraping out, you will get you know, the rest of the good juices in the center. And then we'll just keep cutting as the corn is cooled down really well all the way down to the cob um, then just keep cutting it off as we get it ready and the reason that you want it cooled off all the way down to the cob is um, it if it's not cooled off properly before you cut it off and you put it in the freezer right away it can spoil on you um, so yeah you just want to cool it off properly before you start cutting keep it cooled and then bag it you know as soon as you can once you have it cut off and get it in the freezer and then we're just going to keep cooking our corn and putting in new batches getting it cooled off and then cutting as we can and Lamar he got a phone call that was quite quite lengthy or he would have been in here helping me uh, but it was fine it worked out Now that we have all our corn cut off, here is our corn. Before we start bagging, we are going to clean up our sticky mess here. That is tip number one that I have for you. If you do this inside, you can see all our corn mess here on the floor. And if you let this until it's dry, it will be so much harder to get off the floor. It's so much easier to get it off now while it's still wet and it's still sticky. Um, you can just wipe it off with a um, damp cloth and it comes up um, but trust me if you wait until it's dried and it will be 10 times harder to get it off the floor you'll be scrubbing and it'll just be kind of a mess so we're going to just quickly wipe down um, everything basically just getting the corn kernels up uh, we'll you know clean this properly later but i just wanted to get all that corn up really quickly with a damp 
rag before I start um, the next step. Alright, and before we start bagging, I always kind of like to take my hands through the corn, clean hands, um, don't worry, and just kind of mash it up, all those little pieces, kind of get it all uniform, and kind of mix all the juices in, get it all mixed up. And then you'll want to open your bags up and then fold the top over on itself. And this just helps to keep the outside of your bag from getting sticky. Um, it helps from getting that sticky corn in the slides of the bag where it seals and it keeps your bag um, a lot cleaner. So it doesn't take a lot of time, just fold it over really quickly before you start bagging. And I'm going to bag all of this corn in quart size bags. Um, and this will be more like for company, for when we have guests and things. Um, it'll be, you know, quart size. And then another thing, it helps if you just have a wet rag beside you to just kind of clean up that sticky corn, you know, on the table as you're kind of bagging it to keep the outside of your bags um, from, you know, getting corn residue on it. And then the way I usually do this is put my bags flat on a cookie sheet and then put them in the freezer this way until they're completely frozen. And then you can stand these up in a basket, an organizer in your freezer, however you wanna store them later. And then of course, don't forget to label your corn, put the year on, um, that way you know, you know what the age of the corn is. You can get that one used up before next year's. And then I'm just going to quickly clean up the kitchen, get everything um, kind of cleaned up, get all these big bowls uh, cleaned, washed, and of course I started the dishwasher with the dishes that were in there, and just kind of clean up the kitchen. The children, they were wanting to go out in the pool. It was such a nice warm day. and So I'm going to get the kitchen cleaned up, get some of these things put away, and then we'll head out to the pool and enjoy some time out there. Heading out to the pool, this is always such a good way to just cool off after 
you got some work done and you're kind of, yeah, it's warm outside. Um, Chloe, she's our cautious one. She's takes her quite some time to get in the pool because um, the water feels cold and she doesn't want to get in too fast. So she usually takes her time there on the steps, um, just going one step at a time, just taking your time. Jameson, on the other hand, he just jumps in. Um, this is how he does end. He loves to jump in and swim. He's just learned to swim um, this past summer and I think he does pretty good. And later on that evening we did some other things uh, the rest of the afternoon and then later on we went on a nice walk. It was such a beautiful evening, um, a nice sunset to look at and it kind of cooled off and it was just perfect to go walking. Of course the children they took their bikes. We ended up seeing some deer. Here is a couple bucks there you can see uh, way back in the field they were enjoying some um, beans in there in the field and they were kind of checking us out just looking at us. And then later on we seen uh, three does they were out in the field as well enjoying some uh, supper I guess. Uh, but they soon decided to head out. Alright, I will leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed following us along today and doing our corn. And I will see you next time. Bye.